Hello friends, I am going to discuss about uh, lateral approach of PNS guided proximal sciatic nerve block. This approach was first described by Dr. Gardini. Uh, that's why it is also known as Gardini's subtrochanteric approach. Uh, this is basically the lateral approach of proximal sciatic nerve block. Uh, which is performed in uh, supine position. It is used to provide anesthesia or analgesia for lower leg, ankle or foot surgeries. Uh, the main advantage of uh, Gardini's subtrochanteric approach is we can avoid repositioning of the patient. The patient will be very much comfortable uh, during the performance of this block in supine position and along with the femoral or saphenous nerve block it can provide complete analgesia for lower limb procedures uh, preferably below knee surgeries remember one thing uh, if you need uh, complete analgesia or anesthesia of the entire limb better to go for the lumbar and sacral plexus block because you have to block uh, the femoral nerve, sciatic nerve, the lateral femoral cutaneous uh, or posterior femoral cutaneous and obturator nerves. So it's better to go for plexus block. The absolute contraindication is obviously the patient refusal and the relative contraindication is uh, status secondary to ipsilateral total hip replacement. So for this block, the patient will be placed in supine position with leg in a neutral position or slightly rotated inwards. The padding is placed under the lower leg and pelvis for a better orientation. Coming to the landmark for Gardini's subtrochanteric approach, uh, you need to remember two important landmarks. Uh, one is greater trochanter and another is ischial tuberosity. Greater trochanter will help you to identify the natal entry point whereas the ischial tuberosity will help uh, to direct the needle uh, following the puncture. Let's draw the landmark for Gardini's approach. First we have to identify the greater trochanter then a 2 cm uh, line is drawn posterior or inferior to it and uh, 3 to 4 centimeter uh, distal or caudal to the first line and this red cross will be the uh, needle entry point for Gardini's approach. So we need uh, 80 to 100 millimeter 22 gauge insulated nerve block needle for this block. Uh, the needle is inserted in a horizontal plane and is directed somewhat cranial towards the ischial tuberosity. Uh, the initial current requirement is around 1 to 1.5 milliamps and gradually it is decreased up to 0.3 to 0.5 milliamps. The local anesthetic uh, you can use lidocaine, levovivacaine or ropivacaine uh, with or without adjuvants according to your practice and uh, concentration for anesthesia is 0.5 or higher and for analgesia it's 0.25% uh, uh, you can use and the volume requirement is around 20 to 30 ml. Let's watch a video on Gardini's subtrochanteric approach. You can see I have already inserted the needle and doing some fine tuning to get the response. So this is the eversion response from stimulation of the common peroneal component. Once you get the response, uh, you have to do some fine tuning and get the response at lower current. So I am getting this response around 0.5, it uh, will decrease this around 0.3 to 0.4 and then uh, you can go ahead with the injection. So one important point is if you are able to demonstrate the TBL component uh, response that is the 
inversion and plantar flexion that is fine but if you are not getting this at high sciatic level the eversion or uh, dorsiflexion is acceptable so i will go ahead with the injection and with 1 ml of injection it is gone that is a positive raj test coming to the troubleshooting or needle manipulation part uh, you can go ahead with the injection if you are able to demonstrate the twitches of foot or toes as i have already mentioned the dorsiflexion or eversion uh, uh, is also acceptable in uh, proximal sciatic nerve block and uh, do not inject or ad you need to advance your needle or withdraw or redirect in the following cases uh, in contact with the femur you need to uh, withdraw the needle and redirect it posteriorly or inferiorly and if there is no stimulatory response uh, following the insertion of needle at a reasonable depth uh, you need to withdraw and go a little bit uh, superiorly or anteriorly so the complications are as follows the nerve injury can occur from direct trauma by the needle or uh, intraneural intrafascicular injections of local anesthetic the infection we can avoid it by maintaining proper aseptic technique and the we have to inform the patient about the insensate uh, lower extremity uh, or uh, so to avoid the pressure necrosis of the heel uh, we can use uh, proper padding uh, or a frequent change of position Uh, to avoid it amare tips uh, avoid injection of local anesthetic if you are getting twitches at or less than 0.2 mA it indicates that your needle is uh, needle tip is probably intraneural uh, we have to deposit the drug inside the paraneural sheath but outside the epineurium uh, it uh, fastens the onset and also increases the success rate and the first sign of the block onset is the patient will be unable to wiggle their toes that's all for today thank you for watching my video uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you